Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of our Lumina Neo Academy, the show where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors, and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So you make sure that you stay until the end. Also, if you don't own Luminar Neo or the HDR Merge plugin, get our discount code to get the best possible price and you can find it in the description of this video. Finally, I would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In this video tutorial, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the noiseless AI extension in Luminar Neo. As always, I'm going to describe all the buttons and sliders and use few examples to show you how to get the most out of this new tool. Now, if you want to learn more about this amazing extension, you should check out our Luminar Neo Masterclass. It now includes the Noiseless AI mini course with six additional episodes focusing on this new feature in Luminar Neo. If you want to learn more about it, make sure you check out the link in the description of this video. Now first, let's talk about the actual tool. The Noiseless AI is a second in the line of extensions released for Luminar Neo this year. It offers next generation denoise technology powered by AI. To answer some of the questions, yes, you will be able to use this extension in a plugin version of Luminar Neo for Lightroom, Photoshop, and so on. And yes, you will also able to use the extension on any file format supported by Luminar Neo. However, the raw file will give you the best results. Now that's the introduction out of the way. So let's jump into the application and start by looking at the extension. Now, as you can see, we are already in Luminar Neo and we are starting in catalog module. We are looking at the sample files. And as always, if you want to follow me along, all you need to do is to jump into the description of the video, click on the link there and download the files from our Dropbox account. Now, before we move on, don't forget that if you want to install the extension, you need to go into the extension window, which is located on the top left corner of your screen. And it looks like a piece of puzzle. You click on it and it will open a new window. Here you will see the list of the extensions. And as you can see, we already have the HDR merge. And once you purchase the additional extensions, you will be able to just click on install next to the noiseless AI. Once you install it, it will be ready for the use and you can simply close this window. Now let's start with the raw file. So we're going to select this image, click on it, and then click on edit on the top of our screen to bring it into edit module. Once we in the edit module, we're going to be focusing on our main toolbar. In our main toolbar, we have a new section called extensions. Inside of the extensions, we now have the noiseless raw. And depending if you're working on a raw file or JPEG, you will see noiseless raw or noiseless AI. When you click on it, it will open just like all the other tools and it's ready to be used. Now it's important to remind you that the noiseless raw and the develop raw are development tools. They are meant for the developing of your raw files. This is why we suggest you to use them on the beginning of your photo editing process. If you start by applying some of the other additional effects, they will disappear and move into your edit tab as the image is not going to be raw file anymore. Now, this is why I suggest you to start with the noiseless raw and develop raw before applying any additional effect. So now let's jump into the actual tool. So first we have the advice. The tool will give you an advice on what type of noise reduction adjustment you should use for the most natural result. The advice is based on a combination of factors, including the amount of noise, ISO level, and so on. Now, of course, regardless of the advice, you can choose whichever preset you want. You have a choice between low, middle, and high. Each of these buttons will apply certain amount of noise reduction following the AI assessment of your image. The extension will reduce both luminance and color noise at the same time. So following the advice, it suggests us to use the low adjustment. So let's do that. 
Let's click on the low adjustment and see what it's going to do. Once you click on the button, it starts to scan the image and it will show you the same animation we already saw on some of the other features in Luminar Neo. Once it's done scanning and once it applies the noise reduction, it also zooms you in to 100% so you are able to see the noise reduction and the level of noise on your image. Depending on the result, you could be finished now and continue with the edit or you could use one of the four sliders to do some further adjustments of the noise reduction. So let's have a look at them. First, we have the noise reduction slider. Use this slider to add or remove the luminance noise reduction on your photo. Now moving the slider towards the right adds additional noise reduction. Moving it towards the left, remove it. So let's try it. So when we push it all the way up, you will see that it will apply more noise reduction, however, introduce more softness into the image. When we shift it the other way around, it will remove some of the noise reduction and it will make it a little bit more natural. However, it will bring back some of the noise. Don't forget that if you want to reset any of the sliders, you just double click on their name and they reset to zero or their original value. The next slider is called color noise reduction. This slider is here to remove the color noise in the image. It works on the same basis as the luminance slider. By shifting the slider towards the right, you can add the color noise reduction, and by shifting it towards the left, you can remove it. Again, we can have a look at it. When we shift it towards the right, we are adding some of this color noise reduction, and when we go the other way around, we are removing it. Now, there is not too much on this image, so we don't have to worry about it. So once again, double click on it and reset it. Now we have two more sliders to look at. First one is to recover original detail. This slider helps to bring back some of the original details without reintroducing the noise. So once again, when we push it towards the right, you will see that we will recover some of the details. And when we push it towards the left, it removes some of the recovery of the original detail, however, apply a little bit more of the noise reduction. So again, let's double click on it to reset it. And finally, the fourth slider adds sharpness to the image. This slider does not consider the noise reduction and it will bring back some of the noise at some point of the adjustment. So when I go down, it removes the sharpness completely. And when I push it the other way around, it brings it back to the image. It works on the same basis as your sharpening in Details tool and Develop tool. So once again, let's double click on the slider to reset it and let's quickly review the result just by using the button and preset itself. Now, if you decide to use the adjustment sliders, you will be looking for a good balance between the noise reduction and the details to make sure that that image will stay as natural as possible. So sometimes it's gonna take a little bit of time to select the right amount of your noise reduction, color noise reduction, recover original detail and sharpness. However, you can really fine tune the edit and get even more power when it comes to noise reduction on your image. Now, once you finish with the noiseless extension, all you need to do is to click on the top of the tool and apply it to the image. It will be then stored in your edits and you can come back here and adjust it here in your raw edit section together with your develop raw tool. After that, you can come back into your tools and from here continue with the edit. So what you could do now is to zoom out and apply a little bit of dramatic effect. For this, we're gonna go into our creative section of the main toolbar, click on the dramatic and just increase the amount slider. By doing that, you can see that, that our develop raw tool disappear and our noiseless raw turns to the classic noiseless AI. Just as a reminder here, when you open it, you can now also use it together with masking. So let's say that you want to add some additional noise removal to your sky. You can very simply do that. So you can zoom into 100%, then choose the amount of the noise reduction. So let's say we're going to go for low. And when it's applied, you can move into the masking, zoom out, and then you can use any of the masking tools like brush, linear gradient, radial gradient, or mask AI. So there you have it. This is the brand new noiseless AI extension with all its features. Don't forget that if you have any questions, make sure you shoot them to us into the comments of this video. 
Also, if you want to learn more about the noise and photography noise, you should watch the full series. It's a three episodes, starting with the theory behind the digital noise. After that, looking at how you can avoid or reduce the noise in camera. And then this episode where I showed you how to use the tool itself. One more time, if you want to learn more about the noiseless AI and see how it's used on different photography styles, you should check out our Luminar Neo Masterclass as it does include a full mini course covering the noiseless AI. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cloudphotographer.com slash Luminar Gift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment, and share on this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.